Here's a place filled with singing and dancing. It's got to be so sharp, 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 sharp. Dina Slauson is the reason for that. My parents played the soundtracks of all the Broadway musicals every Sunday afternoon. With a lifelong love of theater, Dina opened the Academy of Theater Arts here in Williamsville 16 years ago. We actually started in a small one-room studio. It's grown into a 10,000 square foot performing arts center complete with a dance studio, rehearsal hall, and a state-of-the-art theater. It seats uh, up to 195. They welcome young people from kindergarten through high school, servicing 600 students a year. It's just such a fun experience to let everything go and just focus on theater. These young performers are working on a pilot musical of Freaky Friday. I'm working with Disney on this brand new show. Dina says while many of her students have gone on to theater careers, some have chosen other paths. If not more success stories of kids who have used theater as a platform for other careers. Julia Donovan's here just building life skills. Well, I think it like gives you good communication skills for the real world. They perform nine musicals a year. The shows are open to the public and pictures of past performances line the hallways. Why does the sky look so familiar? <laughs> Jeff Slauson, he grew up on the stage. He gave up show business and got into television. He did, he did. That was a sad day in his mama's life. Musical theater's loss is Channel 7's gain. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other future Broadway stars learning the ropes from a teacher who loves what she does. Just really wanting to foster my love and passion for theater into young lives. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.